Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, July 8th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have the company of a very sweet cat this morning, and I wanted to show you a picture of the Sistine Chapel this morning. Painted by Michelangelo in the early 1500s. If you've ever been to the Sistine Chapel, it is not that large, and it is absolutely extraordinary. The art depicting scenes from the creation and throughout the scriptures is, well, it's really transcendent. It takes you to another place. Michelangelo, like Mozart and music, was just a genius given to us from God. So this extraordinary chapel tells the story of the scripture through image and lifts us to another place but it is opulent and it is beautiful. But so long as we remember that this is a rep representation of the kingdom of heaven, it brings us there. This morning, Jesus talks to his disciples after this long interrogation from the scribes and Pharisees and then Sadducees. And he says to them, Look, the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so do what they teach, but don't do what they do. Because they've gotten all caught up in themselves. They love their vestments and robes and their places of honor, and they've forgotten. So they put a heavy burden on others, but do not take one upon themselves. Remember that the first will be last and the last will be first. Those will be who are humbled will be welcomed first into the kingdom of God. And those who are proud of themselves, who take power for themselves, who love the position of authority, yeah, those people will not do so well. It's always been a debate for me within the church about our liturgy. We have beautiful churches made. Some of our cathedrals took hundreds of years to build if they are made as acts of devotion, tools to bring someone into a transcendent state with their beauty and artistry, then that's wonderful. But if they become thrones, if they become places where authority is exercised for the sake of authority, if the clergy ever get full of themselves, then me being primary among them, it's, it's easy to get full of yourself, then we're in danger. There's a reason why in the procession, in the Eucharistic Mass, the priest always walks last. The servant, the one who will tell the story at the table, is supposed to go last because Jesus said the last will be first. Well, when I was a seminarian, people were always vying to be last. <laughs> I thought, wait a minute, we've reversed the whole thing. I think what Jesus is saying, don't be afraid of beauty or artistry or even ornateness if it's done in the service of God. But be careful of your egos, for you are not so important as you think. None of us are. Let us pray. Almighty God, there is a, there is a danger to power, to wealth, to prestige. Help us not to succumb to that danger, but to remember that all of us as human beings are precious in your sight, but equal. Help us to be humble, not to think we're jerks, but to be human, made of the earth, and dependent on you for eternal life. We are a breath that comes and passes away, as the psalmist says. But we can make beauty, which can last longer than our lifetimes. We give you thanks for the beautiful cathedrals of this world, for all the beautiful worship spaces of all religions that transport us into another realm of ecstasy and awe. We thank you for the gift of our lives, for our pets. Yes, I know, I thank you. I will pause and let you speak aloud the things for which you're thankful.
We pray for the sick, for the suffering, for those who mourn, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness. I will pause and let you speak aloud the people who are on your heart who need prayer. Lord, give us wisdom today that we might follow your will. Give us work to do to build your kingdom here on earth. Give us humility that we might recognize our own failings and shortcomings. And give us, Lord, peace, peace throughout this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.